Hello friends and welcome to our virtual music class. It's already December, which means we get to have some Christmas fun. I'm going to sing a song and it's your job to do what you see me do. Copy me with your body. Make sure that you are standing up and that way we can have some fun. Here we go. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Our Savior Christ and His Lady on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Our Savior Christ and his lady on Christmas Day in the morning. Oh, they sailed in the Bethlehem on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Oh, they sailed in the Bethlehem on Christmas Day in the morning. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Good job, friends. All right, friends, go ahead and grab your 2-3 assignment for the week of 11-30. Go to the side that looks like this. I am going to be saying some Christmas words today, and you will also see those Christmas words on the screen. It's your job to listen very carefully to how I say those words and decide which rhythm does that word sound like. Does that word sound like ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, or ta, one thing that might help you be able to figure out what the word is, you can listen for the number of syllables. For example, if I were to say the word apple, we know that apple is two syllables. Let's see which rhythm has two syllables. This rhythm right here, ta, ta, apple. Another thing to listen for are the syllables of the word, if they are short or if they are long. So looking at a rhythm down here, t, t, ta, we know that t, t is short and ta is long. So listen carefully to, to the words that I say and write them on the line. If at any point you need to pause the video while you are writing the word, you may do so. All right, friends, we are going to get started. When I am saying these words, I am going to go rather quickly. So if any point you need time to write the word on your paper, please pause the video as you need. Here's our first word, Chris, miss. Clap that with me now. Chris, miss. Pause the video if you need. Our next word is bells. Clap that with me now. Bells. Now we have snow flake. Clap that with me now. Snow flake. Next we have candy cane. Clap that with me now. Candy cane. Next we have cold. Clap that with me now. Cold. Next we have Santa Claus. Clap that with me now. Santa Claus. Next we have decorations. Clap that with me now. Decorations. Now we have Nutcracker. Clap that with <coughs> Clap that with me now. Nutcracker. Next we have Nativity. Clap that with me now. Nativity. Next we have Saint Nicholas. Clap that with me now. Saint Nicholas. Now we have angels. Clap that with me now. Angels. Next we have star. Clap that with me now. Star. Very good. Now, if you need more time, you can rewind the video and you can pause the video to get those words. 
If not, we are going to go on to the next activity. Go ahead and flip your worksheet over to the other side. Now, Trepak, Russian Dance by Tchaikovsky. This is a song from the Nutcracker. Take out your assignment worksheet. Draw what you think of when you listen to the song. At the bottom of the worksheet, describe your drawing using words. I will go ahead and play the song now. All right, friends, if you need to hear the song again, you are more than welcome to rewind the video and listen again. If you need to hear any of the Christmas words again or see how the Christmas words are spelled, you are more than welcome to rewind the video to get what you missed. All right, friends, together we are going to do a dance. Make sure you're standing up and copy me with your body. Here we go. stop right there for the sake of time. Thank you, friends. Now, friends, in that last song, it was from the Nutcracker, and we are going to spend the next couple weeks talking about our new composer of the month, and his name is Tchaikovsky, and he's the one who wrote the Nutcracker. Let's take a moment to learn about him now. This month's composer of the month is Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky was born in 1840 in Russia. Tchaikovsky began piano lessons at the age of five, and within three years, he could read music as well as his teacher. When his mother died, he responded by turning to music. It was at this time that he made his first serious efforts as a composer, writing a waltz in her memory. In 1869, Tchaikovsky composed his first recognized masterpiece, the overture fantasy Romeo and Juliet. On November 6, 1893, Tchaikovsky died in St. Petersburg. His compositions are some of the greatest works of the Romantic era, including the 1812 Overture, which features real cannons, March Slav, and the Nutcracker, which has become a Christmas season favorite. All right, friends, now that we know a little bit about Tchaikovsky, let's take a look at one of his most famous pieces, the Nutcracker. Now, the Nutcracker is normally performed as a ballet, which is a type of dance, but we will be looking at the Nutcracker in book form for the next three weeks. And if you listen carefully, you will hear the music from the Nutcracker in the background. Are you ready? I know I am. 
was Christmas Eve, and snow fell softly on the ground. Inside, it was warm and cozy, the air filled with the smell of gingerbread. Clara could hardly wait for Godfather Dosselmeyer to arrive for the party. As if on cue, the door burst open. A poof of snow settled on the stoop. There was Godfather Dosselmeyer with his flowing cape and curly mustache. Merry Christmas, he bellowed, and scooped Clara up in a great big hug. Godfather Dosselmeyer was a famous toy and clockmaker. He could make a toy out of anything, even an empty spool of thread or an old bottle cap. Now, the children gathered around as he reached under his cape and produced one bright package after another. Thank you, cried the children. As they tore their gifts, Clara's brother Fritz got a wooden toy sword. Anne got a lovely doll with sparkling fairy wings. And Ben got a wind-up mouse that was so fuzzy and gray it almost looked real. But Clara knew her present was the best of all. It was a toy soldier. But not just any toy soldier. If you put a nut between its teeth and pulled the lever in the back, it cracked the shell right open. Oh, thank you, breathed Clara. I love it. Clara passed the nutcracker around for everybody to try. But Fritz grabbed it and shoved a walnut between its teeth. He pulled the lever down hard. Snap. The shell cracked in two, and so did the nutcracker's jaw. Fritz, Clara cried. You've broken it! She cradled the injured toy in her arms. With a flourish, Godfather Drosselmeyer stepped in. He pulled out a handkerchief and tied it around the nutcracker's head. That should do for now, he said. Tomorrow, I'll get my tools and I'll fix it properly. But now, Mother says it's time for bed. After saying goodnight to the party guests, Clara gave the nutcracker a kiss and placed him gently under the Christmas tree with all of the other toys. Then, reluctantly, she went upstairs to bed. And we will continue with our story next week, reading the next two parts of The Nutcracker. All right, friends, well, that's the end of our music class. Today we learned some new songs that remind us of Christmas time, and we've begun to learn about Tchaikovsky as we begin to embark on our Nutcracker journey. I'll see you again next week, and we will continue to learn about the Nutcracker, Tchaikovsky, and all sorts of Christmas fun.